Grace Kennedy Belize Limited is one of Belize's major food and beverage distributors. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I should not have made it. I should not have done it. Be no, me. any girls I'm me, you want me real girlfriend. 
available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. God said these times I live for you and time for you to see me true. These pains of those who lead us are signs of coming times. I need showers of hope to invade my life And friends, that's why I lean on you Set us free from all this world of destruction Now for something better and we we'll really end Life is much more than occasion It's pearl liberations of self-invasion There should be no separation of a nation Whether it be Asian, European or Caucasian Well, it's about self and destination without hesitation It's not about me, myself and I Call it situated conversations Time for change like a television with so many different stations Raise your heads high, we're a generation with new visions Time to put away the things after politics and the tricks A collage of fruit and filling with pigs that makes us sick How can we look on our poor people be left? Hands all stretch and we just walk by, isn't it self-denial? Only times, only times The soul of people bleeds many cries Stop selling dreams are leading to pure tries How long should we wait when time just fly and passes by? The time for change right now Put your hands up high and reach for the sky Send me help in these times I live for you and time for you to see me true These pains of those who lead us Are signs of coming times I need the showers of hope to be my life And friends, that's why I lean on you Set us free from all this world of destruction Time for something better in you Too many options, the decision are hard to make Seems like the views of precision just break Gotta choose a door by which though my life's at stake Blood flowing down to lake Gotta do it for me, at least for my soul's sake My whole flow without a dream, it makes me nake The purity of what I am makes me always Shout my name, please, it's my ego on the stage I'm moving up like the Jefferson, it's another phase Gotta keep moving, it's just another race I was falling whilst running, I'm still standing cause of time I lace So y'all thought I should follow my clean face Haha, <laughs> never ever, I'm greater My life's a feather flowing in the wind My shadow's without a trace If I die young, my team will be amazing grace I'm just in case, call me LJ Sessions finish. Courts now dismissed. Courts now dismissed. God send me help in these times. For you and time for you to see me true. These pains of those who lead us are signs of coming times. I need the showers of hope to be my life. And friends, that's why I lean on you. Small world of destruction. Time for something better in you. God send me help in these times. For you to see me true
This is Life Uncommon, and we are live here in the studio at Plus TV. My name is Alita Sharp. And my name is Andrea Rodriguez, and I am excited to be here. So um, I have to say outright, you know me, I like to say what's <laughs> on my mind. Always, always. Um, I have a cough that I'm dealing with, and so I have a mint in my mouth. My, my face isn't swollen. <laughs> I didn't get hit. <laughs> I just have a mint. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't think you can really tell. Oh, oh yeah, I can see now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you know how some Full people behave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So it comes on and everything, the face swell up, that woman's in that car. But yeah, so. <laughs> well, Get I'm excited started. about today. Yeah, we yeah. have lots to talk about. We do have yeah. lots to talk about. So. And it's our final show before we go yes. on break for a little bit. So. Yes, and I need that break. Yeah, oh, we all need a break mm -hmm. now. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm thinking let's do June and July yeah. and August. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just harder for me when the kids are With out from kids. school yeah. and trying yeah. to find places or like so now they're at my husband's work and I'm taking them everywhere so yeah. that's a So when does school start back again? Oh Lord, I'm counting down. <laughs> uh, August, end of yeah, August. Oh so my goodness. Well actually I'm not counting down because I do enjoy my kids' company but yeah. some days makes me want <laughs> August to come now. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, when you have two two girls and one boy, uh -huh. yeah, there's yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before we we jump to our guest, Ali, I want to um, I want to congratulate my brother's team. Yes. Um, you guys know that I'm from the River Valley area, and cricket is in my blood. Um, I come from a line of great, awesome cricket players. And my youngest, one of my youngest brothers, um, not the youngest, he formed a cricket team. Okay. And first year together, he put um, he put a bunch of guys together yeah. this year, and yeah. they made it to the playoffs. Oh my goodness! And so, unfortunately, they did not win the championship. It was a hard loss. Yeah. They went to the double head okay. cabbage cricket team. Okay. Um, excellent, excellent. I think I go for nothing or anything. Yes, and so, um, but I do want to congratulate these boys. They made, you know, they won their division yeah, and, yeah. you know, made it all the way to the playoffs as for the first year. How exciting. So, yeah. Yep, I was right there on the sidelines. Yes, I'm happy. Because, <laughs> you know, they adopted the name of a team that my daddy's play on that oh, has lots of history called wow. some Summer Fever. But please, nobody says Summer Fever. <laughs> Everybody well, I says, might say Summer Fever. Everybody <laughs> says Summer Fever. <laughs> yes, so Summer Fever. And I just have to congratulate them. So I'm at the game, and this guy said, Huh? Rise and shine their way up here. I was like, no, this is a life on common side for me. <laughs> so he just, he just looked at me and laughed and said, this legal is only feisty. Anyways, like, they know, right, Alida? That's right. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that said, <coughs> we are excited to have with us, I think, for the first time. I think so, too. As live on, on Common for sure, yes. <laughs> Janelle yeah. um, Mencius, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little bit of coffee today. <laughs> yes, so um, she is here. She wears many hats as well, but today she's here talking about TEDx Belmo Pan. Yes. So, so yeah, so welcome to the show, Janelle. Thank you very much for having me today. Yeah, it's good to have you with us. Yes, so um, I'm here to talk about TEDx Film Pan. Um, this year we'll be having our second event. Our first event was in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, that was our inaugural event. Um, it was held under the theme, Changing the Conversation. Mm -hmm. um, now, just for some background on mm -hmm. what it's really about, uh, TEDx is a, a locally organized, um, independently organized event that tries to create a TED experience. Now, what TED refers to is um, technology, mm -hmm. entertainment, and design. Okay. And that's a bigger conference that initially started um, focusing on just those three areas yeah. because those are areas that are found to shape mm -hmm. how the world um, progresses and just shapes overall the world that we live in. 
um, since its inception, things have changed immensely. So it's now um, diverse mm -hmm. on many different topics other than those three. Um, it's on social issues. Um, it's on other aspects in science, um, art, anything you can think of, yeah. um, you can talk about at TED. So our event um, is one of many other events um, mm -hmm. in the world, thousands that are locally um, organized. I okay. believe that the TEDx program was started in about 2006, 2007. Okay. And um, since then, they have had millions of yeah. events. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're very happy to be able to say that we're a part of those millions yeah. in Belize. Yeah. yeah. Um, our first event, like I said, was uh, changing the conversation. We featured five speakers. We had um, Janelle Chanona, Kalila Enriquez, Lisa Schumann, Yasser Musa, mm -hmm. and we had Tony Rath. Mm -hmm. And all of them basically spoke about um, their area of expertise and uh -huh. mm -hmm. told their stories and mm -hmm. the things they've learned about um, life or or whatever it is, an idea that yeah. they brought out of the work that they've done. Um, and I'm happy to say that we had a very successful event. That's good. Um, the reception to it was amazing. We got a lot of positive feedback, yeah. so we're very happy about that. And we're glad to say that the conversations have continued beyond the, the event itself. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, discussions have continued on Facebook or in you know our circles of friends um, wherever we are and so we know that the first event was definitely impactful. Yeah. It was an incredible event. Right, I had the opportunity yeah. to be there and, and um, I know you'll talk about how to be a part of the audience later but I felt so fortunate to be a part of that inaugural audience and it was an excellent, excellent conference. I'm not surprised you got all positive feedback because it really was very well done. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Alina couldn't stop talking. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, she took notes. I did. Stuff. I did. Yeah. It was very impactful. Yeah. Very and that's, impactful. that's what we want. You know, it's it's not just um, an event where you go and you sit and you listen, but you're supposed to take away something mm -hmm. from it. Whether, um, you know, I had someone email in and say, you know, um, we love the event and now. I'm going to move ahead to do something that I've always wanted to do. So, you know, if it's inspiration, if it's to start this idea that mm -hmm. you've always wanted to do, uh, if it's just um, finding something within yourself, you mm -hmm. know, because you're, you're also um, relating to the stories yeah. that are being told. Yeah. And yeah. I think that in itself is something impactful because you're like, wow, you went through that too. And that's always a great mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah. yeah. And there's something significant, too, about, um, about your team, the team that pulled this all together. Right. Right? What's yes. the... Yes. Um, we're a very young team. Yeah. We're all under 30. <laughs> I, I think we still are, because uh -huh. it's been um, two years. And um, I think that's a huge achievement yes. for us as young professionals, because we did plan this along with having full-time jobs. Yeah. Um, and to see that it was such a successful event speaks yeah. to um, not only what our team could do, but what um, youths and young yes. professionals in Belize exactly. can do. Exactly. So, um, you know, we're glad to be a part of that good name for yeah. young people because, mm -hmm. you know, most often as young people, you know, yeah. eh, young people, well, yeah. they don't really have standards <laughs> or this or that, but no, that's not true. Right. We, we have a lot of young people doing good stuff and yeah. we're, we're glad to be a part of that. That's excellent. Yeah, that's excellent. And I learned something new today because I thought Ted was after some guy named Ted. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> So I was like, oh, interesting, because I've always wondered why it was called tennis. Yeah. Well, I had the E wrong. I thought it was education, but it's entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah, okay. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now you mentioned that 
not last year, 2015, uh -huh. I think was changing the conversation. Right. So now you guys have a date set and everything for this yes. one coming. We Is do. The same theme? Did you change? What's going on? So, so this year, um, our theme is celebrate mm -hmm. and um, the reason we chose this theme is because it had um, sentimental, um, a sentimental meaning as it related to the team. Um, as I said, we're a young group mm -hmm. um, and since 2015 we've had members who have been engaged, who've gotten married, who've yeah. had babies, graduated mm -hmm. promotions, everything and yeah. so um, celebrate seemed like the appropriate theme okay. and not only that um in the country you know we tend to focus a lot on the negative things yeah. happen yeah. and we do have so much positive happening in the country and a lot worth celebrating yeah. yes. and so yeah. we thought this would be a good medium and a good platform where we could celebrate the things that are happening in the yeah. and celebrate people and their ideas. Yeah. And um, so that's what we want to bring okay. to the stage this year. And that will be on Saturday, okay. September 30th. Um, last time it was on Thursday, but you know, we've heard the feedback from our attendees last year. We had people who had to drop out because yeah. Thursday, that's a weekday. Yeah. So right. people, you know, couldn't, couldn't show up. They couldn't get time off yeah. from work. And so we definitely wanted to open that up and give them the opportunity to be a part of our audience. Oh, yeah. so that's great. Yeah, because I couldn't come. <laughs> you know, it was a Thursday and I had um, the commitments and different things I couldn't get out of. But yeah, I like the idea of having it on a weekend. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, it also gives us, you know, a little break to rejuvenate because <laughs> it is a lot of work um, preparing yeah. for the event. So, and you know, um, we're just really looking forward to mm -hmm. to seeing who will be there and to see what the reception will be to the speakers. Yeah. So I know you're you're keeping quiet about list listing all of the speakers, right. but I think you already revealed. Yes, we one revealed of one, and this year we'll have Chef Sean Quillen. Okay. Um, I think everybody in Belize knows Chef Quillen, and um, so we're very excited to have him there. Um, I think you can't go wrong with food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know, that's something we celebrate every day. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Have food for nourishment, and yeah. food is a huge part of culture. It is. Which yes, it brings is. me to the um, sub themes that we'll have this year because we do break it down into sessions. Um, okay. And so this year we will feature music, arts, and culture. Okay. Um, we'll have entrepreneurship and we'll also have education and STEM. Okay. These okay. are all areas that we believe um, we have people within the country that yes. have a good message to share that's yeah. worth celebrating okay. in these specific areas. Excellent. So that's how great. can people you know, follow up with what you're doing? Um, because I know that you guys do an excellent job too of promoting the event and like releasing little things as we go along to get people right. excited and interested. So. Um, tell us how people could follow you guys. So um, we are on Facebook, like mm -hmm. everyone, right? If you're not on Facebook, you're nowhere. <laughs> 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 but we are on Facebook, um, and that's where you can find most of our information. Okay. Um, we'll have um, everything from our applications up there, um, the speaker reveals, which will be coming up pretty soon. Uh -huh. Um, that's something that people who have applied and people who are looking to apply definitely look forward to. Um, we also have, um, we'll be featuring TED um, talks and mm -hmm. other TEDx talks as well. Our own talks that we had from 2015. Yes. Okay. Um, because I'm not sure how many people have viewed them. We have had well over 2,000 plus views yeah. um, for our talks, so uh, that's a really good thing. But if you haven't seen them, you can catch them on our yeah. Facebook page. Yeah. Um, we also will be on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Okay. And we also have our website. Okay. Um, up there you can find all the information that you need. And we're also accessible via email if you have any questions. Okay. At tedxpelmapan at gmail.com. Okay. And that's how they um, do the application, be a part of the audience right. as well? Um, we <coughs> have, you can go to the website to access the application. Um, 
it's also posted a link to the actual application is also posted on our website so you um, on our Facebook page I mean and you can also click that link and it takes you to the application um, the it's a free event mm -hmm. but the reason we use an application process is because we want people who are serious about yeah. um, what happens at TED like I said yeah. it's not it's not just an event you show up to and right. you know you sit and you leave yeah. right. it's meant to be impactful yeah. and we want people who seriously want to have conversations yeah. um, and you know, you come there and you also network. You're meeting yeah, people, yeah. people you'd probably never yeah. mingle with. Um, so you know, it's 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 really a a good event and a place to learn not only about other people, but maybe find your own passions mm -hmm. through the um, event. Uh, free event complete the application tell us about yourself because we do want to know about you and we do want to be able to cater mm -hmm. to the individuals that are there yeah. so we're we're creating um we're creating for instance we have this year we'll have a tedx active lab where you can all where our audience members can actually you know um give us feedback on the event yeah. um We'll have different booths that you can also visit at the event. Okay. So, um, you know, it's a very, a very hands-on experience, mm -hmm. and yeah. um, it's, it's diverse. It's not just yeah. a conference. Yeah. yeah. And somebody just texted into and said that I did not know you have to apply to attend TED. So yes. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> yes, so you do yeah. need to apply. Um, and there's a limited number of right. people that can be in the yes. audience, right? Yeah. Only a hundred. Um, uh, is it a first come first, or is it we we you still weed out? we'll still kind of weed out? Uh -huh. Um, because like I said, we we don't just we want a mix of people, uh -huh. not yeah. only people um, that have been exposed to TED or the yeah. TEDx, mm -hmm. but also people that want to learn more about yeah. it and what it's about. So okay. um, we definitely want a good mix, yeah. but we are limited to how many people we can have. It's only a hundred mm -hmm. people. And among that, we do have to cater to our sponsors as well. Mm -hmm. So they get seats, um, but the reason why we can only have a hundred people is because we are regulated by a license issued by TED um, and that is a huge part in why we're even able to have a second event because we have very strict guidelines you yeah. know branding the coloring yeah. Um, yeah. how the stage is set up and our yeah. videos do play a huge part in yeah. whether we're renewed or not so okay. um, it's very different than what we're used to mm -hmm. um, it's stressful for us, but it's a good experience because yeah. we have these strict standards that we mm -hmm. have to stick to. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. it's been a great experience for myself and the team mm -hmm. um, that we have because not only are we learning how to set a standard mm -hmm. for ourselves, yeah. but for Belize and learning to work with an international yeah. brand. Excellent. Excellent. But Janelle, we have to take yeah. a break, but before we go to the break, is there any um, last information or anything that you want to share with us? Um, I definitely just like to encourage people to apply. Um, you know, it's a, it's a really good event. It's a different experience. Um, like I said, you're meeting different people. Mm -hmm. You're um, finding your own passions. It's free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> um, and, you know, don't only look to take away something, but see what you can also bring to the conversation yeah. that day. Yeah. Um, and, you know, come celebrate yourself. Celebrate yeah. with us. Um, yeah. All of us have something in us that's worth celebrating. And um, that's definitely what I'd, I'd like to encourage people to think about, think about what it is in Belize that you think we should be celebrating. Right. I love that too. I love that. I love that. That's great. Um, That's great. We talk about that all the time. Yes. Negative <laughs> yeah. Stuff, talk yeah. About things that we can highlight and are positive. Yeah. 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 So I love that team. 
So thank you so much for being thank with us too. this morning thank and you. sharing about TEDx. And I hope to see you both there this year. Well, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I could apply again, but I definitely will. <laughs> yes, please do. Yes. Okay, everybody, we'll take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to shift topics a little bit, but um, it's celebration. Yes, that's right. That's right. So Janelle set the mood for us today. So we'll be right back after this break. From the company who brought you Buendia Freeze Dry Coffee, Grace 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is made in Colombia. Considered among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze dry, Gries 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with this. Recipes go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. My name is Ash Leroy, and I'm a senator of the government of Belize. I'm here today to talk about my good friend, Dr. Paul Wisman, and to say without hesitation that it is my greatest pleasure to grant him this title of Honorary Humanitarian Ambassador for the country of Belize. Since I knew Dr. Paul from the very early days, I never knew that his would turn out to be this grand because he was a humble man. What I saw was a humble man with an aim to work with our people. He simply did what Jesus wanted him to do quietly. Today, we can boast that Dr. Paul's leadership has now blossomed into what we believe is one of the greatest ministry institutions in our country under the name International Servants. Thank you, Dr. Paul, for your influence in our country. Thank you for your love for Belize, because from the time you came in 1990, you have not left. You have become, to me, one of my greatest friends in the ministry of Christ. And you continue to show yourself one of those talwart Christian men who is not just speaking or saying words, but is actually doing what you say with your words. Thank you, and I grant you this day, on behalf of the people of Belize, this title of Honorary Humanitarian Ambassador. God bless you, my brother. seen it? No, I haven't. Oh, what my. is it about? Oh, it's a daytime show okay. and it empowers women to embrace the extraordinary and go against the grain of the common. Hmm. I really like the sound of that. Yeah, I knew you would like it because it's a really fun show. It sounds that way. It's a mixture of tears and laughter mm -hmm. and challenges and human interest stories. Well, you know what? I may just give it a shot. Well, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, 
Alida and I want to invite you to join us on Tuesdays at 10.30 for a new season of Life Uncommon on Plus TV. You do not want to miss what 2017 will bring. It's going to be awesome. It sure will. Looking for quick and easy baking? Try Grace Baking Powder. It comes in a convenient 10 gram packet. Grace Baking Powder. Great for my pancakes, waffles, fry jack, flour tortillas, muffins, waffles. Wow! How quick and easy. Grace Baking Powder. So convenient, easy to store, you love it. It's good enough and fresh whenever you need it. Another fine product brought to you by Grace. For recipes, go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Cold, flu, sinus, for whatever ails you, Benjamin, the right relief. Welcome back to Life on Everybody knows me, I'm into community, so yeah. this is just one of my community activities that I'm doing. Yeah. And we're here again. This is my third year as a pageant coordinator for okay. Queen of the Bay Belmopan, and it has been a wonderful experience. Yeah, yeah. that's exciting. I'm stressful, but you know. <laughs> 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 um, so, Queen of the Bay com is coming up pretty soon, yes. and I I want to jump right off the bat because you want to you know meet the other delegate the delegates coming yes. up later. Yes. But Chantel, I am so disappointed because I won't be here for the pageant oh. this year. So Alida better try live <laughs> and stream or something. And she's gonna be there. And I'm gonna be there. Yes. She's one of our entertainments this yeah. year yeah. for the show, and um, we're excited, excited about that. Yeah. Uh, very excited about that. Especially with her Tina Turner legs. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um. I don't want to call Geraldine because you're the queen. The queen, I know. So She's her graciousness queen, Geraldine gracious Flowers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have to twist up, but yeah. tell us, tell us um, how being the um, reigning queen of the bay has changed your life. Well, being the reigning queen of the bay of Bamopan has changed my life very differently because I 
everything I look view is very differently now. Uh -huh. Like for taking for instance, I didn't have a love for pageantry, but uh -huh. I did it. I tried it out, and then I ended up loving it. Uh -huh. And then afterwards, like um, I ended up meeting a lot of new people, uh -huh. and that's very great for me. Yeah, and um. It just made me love myself more and the beauty I possess inside. Mm. Yeah. You showed uh, so <laughs> much um, confidence. Yeah, and <laughs> poise. <laughs> yeah. So when, when you're on stage, guys, Alina and I were both there. Yes. That night yes. and, um, so, and even now you have that smile and just mm -hmm. very poised. Um, mm -hmm. did you said that you weren't into it. So what inspired you to even join and want to be a part? Well, it all started when I was on holiday and then I got a message from Miss Jackie mm -hmm. and she said if I would try it out and I said, but that's not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, she said, just try it out, you mm -hmm. love it. And I said, okay. So I went to practice one time and then I saw how the girls were doing the curtsy and everything. So I was like, no, this is not for me. Oh. <laughs> so then afterwards I end up doing the squats and then strengthen my legs mm -hmm. and all that so then afterwards like eventually just grew in me and then i uh -huh. began loving it yeah so yeah that's it <laughs> that's great so what what advice do you have for the delegates coming up or for the next queen oh well just to have a lot of love and just enjoy every moment of it it's very it's a very fun experience um, you will love everything that will come and you will love meeting the new people and um, yeah, just love, that's me, just love and keep that smile because the song says itself, beautiful queen of the bay and mm -hmm. that beautiful smile you're portraying and have people know who you and all that. Yeah, and that was the first thing I noticed when you walked into the room this <laughs> yeah. morning was the beautiful smile. Oh, yeah. thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what, what was your most um, memorable experience this past, from this past year? Well, it has to be, I guess, the pageant night. Okay. <laughs> because like, I remember, I recall, I always watch the video because my friend video it the night when they were say, calling the winner and then yeah. the final three walked up to the front then in my mind it's like oh man let's see who win this <laughs> <laughs> then i could just rec then when i would look at the video and i get like my i get teary because i can't believe the joy that i felt that yeah. night was like so overwhelming yeah so it has to be the pageant night okay definitely the pageant yeah. night and now a year has gone yes. by so fast yes. <laughs> yeah. are mm -hmm. you relieved that you don't have to go and do all the curse <laughs> around yeah. or will you be do still be doing your final when you do your final i'll um, still be doing a final curse but not all the way and uh -huh. so okay. i think i was just a little halfway yeah. and yeah. everything but my legs are way out now. <laughs> I think my I'm stomach hurt when I <laughs> watch the eyes go down to with everybody. <laughs> I was thinking you guys must have some strong leg yes. muscles to be able to pull that off. Well, yeah. look who they talk like I'm <laughs> going <laughs> 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 So, um, Chantel, tell us a little bit about what we can expect um, at the pageant and, you know, times and dates and prices and all that. Okay, um, the pageant is going to be held on August 12th mm -hmm. at 7 sharp. Mm -hmm. And if you know me, Chantel, when 7 o'clock my anthem is playing, I don't need <laughs> five minutes for anybody. Um, we are going to have three sections. We're going to have um, reserve children and um, general admission. The reserve okay. is $20, the general is 10 and children are 5 Okay. Um, we have five beautiful delegates this year, and it's a mixture because mm -hmm. we have girls from the villages and we have girls from mm -hmm. the, from different areas of Belmopan. Okay, and I wasn't here for a month, <laughs> um, two months, and I came back, and they already started practicing before I came back, and okay. I went to my great. first practice last night, and 
these girls have are going to give those judges a hard time that's because good. That's this is great. so different from the other years. All of the girls are that that's good. good. Wow. They're very good. They're that's very exciting. excellent. And all of them are University of Belize students. Yeah. So uh -huh. it's a different, every year we get different, better delegates and uh -huh. the caliber of the pageant is going up. So I am very, very excited about the pageant this year. Yes. And we have a good show for you. Okay. And so we are um, will people be able to get tickets um, leading up to the pageant? Okay, tickets go on sale on the 5th of August okay. Okay. at Belmopan Day. Okay. And then he, thereafter, the tickets are going to be available at the Belmopan City Council. On the 5th of August, we also have our session ceremony because we usually do our session ceremony at the um, Belmopan Day official ceremony. So all the girls are going to be such with the um representing the area okay. Okay. that they come from okay. Okay. so this year we have a delegate from Rory Creek a okay. delegate from Camalote a delegate from Mountain View okay. Park area a delegate from Site 7 and a delegate from University Heights area okay, okay. So we made it that well, we're past Site 7. That's right, okay. so I wasn't sure. Site 7 begins at Libertad okay. all the way to the three streets adjacent University of Belize. Got so it. three okay. of Laden Swayze and then University Heights is that back area where a new development right. is. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. Right. Behind the May Garden Park area that's University okay. Heights. Okay. So yeah. I am a okay. site seven girl. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Andrea is a tiger. Yeah. Tom yeah. Mountain View yeah. Park girl. Yeah. So Walker. <laughs> <laughs> well I'm a totally uh, I tell Alida I think I've never never seen my back here. <laughs> <laughs> it's different areas like for example that area where the is that is central site okay okay okay, okay. well i am um, i'm really bummed out it was funny because um i'm telling alina girls night you that's know right. we're going that's out right. and we're going to have fun i'm making plans already and then i said but wait when, when is the pageant <laughs> and it's like august 12 i was like bummer it's like <laughs> i leave a couple days before the pageant yeah. so i know i will miss out on a great show so all you guys who are watching on a better go for me i'll report back to me <laughs> about it make sure you go and cheer on your favorite delegate um i think we usually get a good um Turn out though, and I'm yeah. hoping this year yeah. that we will get a better And one of out. the things about Queen of the Bay, it's not a beauty pageant per se, it's mm -hmm. a traditional pageant. So the purpose of the pageant is to showcase, showcase Belize. It's mm -hmm. the start of the September celebration, yeah. yes. which is one of my favorite time yeah. in Belize. Yes. Yep. And so everything about the pageant is Belize. Mm -hmm. They have to, whatever songs we use are Belizean yeah. songs by Belizean artists. Excellent. The talent section has to be purely, purely, purely Belizean. Mm -hmm. They do the traditional march, which is something that we don't really see again yeah. in right. Belize. Right. And of course, the traditional queen of the bay walls and the curtsy that everybody that's the favorite part of the yeah. party yeah. because yeah. you want to see who is going to shake, shake. and who is going to stumble <laughs> like yes. who is going to go low 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 and who can yeah. come up slow right. you know right. so right. I always love it. it's one of my favorite mm -hmm. pageant because it's not about modeling and the fashion yes. and it's, yeah. it's very traditional yeah. it's something that takes us back into history in mm -hmm. Belize yes. that yes. we don't see anybody wearing those frocks like what they used to call them because it wasn't dress, dresses then yeah, it was frock and yeah. the quindolin yeah. underneath yeah. the frock yeah. yeah. and you know yeah. so it's something that I always look forward to I didn't get a chance to go up for the National Queen of the Bay I only did the local pageant and it gives me a pleasure to have our delegates in Belmopan and we want that crown back. The yeah. last yes. person in Belmopan to win that crown was Rony Koyi. Okay. And that was some years ago. We need to bring back yeah. that yes. crown to Belmopan. Well, hopefully yeah. one of these delegates that we are about to meet will be bringing that crown yes. back to Belmopan. So, um, Miss um, Graciousness. <laughs> <laughs> um, what inspired you before we go to break what inspired you when you had to come up with your talent segment because yes you oh well i had training well people trained me to do that because at first i didn't know what, what i was going uh -huh. to do uh -huh. i was just going to do a poem a mm -hmm. Belizean poem but then 
a friend of mine said, why don't you do a mixture of the different cultured bands and ah. like just showcase what you got? So I said, oh yeah, that's a very nice idea. And then I'm the last person, so I should le leave left it with a bang. Ah. Yes. Yes. So I said, yes, great idea. So that's what I did. And I just went and gave it my all. And you owned <laughs> it. Right. You, you sure did. You sure all did. All right. Well, we are going to take a break, but um, only to bring on our delegate. So you don't want to miss this. This is, or this is going to be our final segment. So we'll be right back after this short break. From the company who brought you Bundia Freeze Dry Coffee, Grace 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is made in Colombia. Considered among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze dried, Gries 100% Pure Colombian Coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Grace. Recipes go to GraceRecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. My name is Carlos Moreno. I'm the United States Ambassador to uh, Belize. You know, I'm always interested in individuals who do good work. I was impressed by the breadth and scope of the kind of humanitarian assistance Paul's been providing to Belize for decades. Today I had the pleasure, uh, accompanied by Dr. Paul, to visit a couple of Mayan villages and met some of the residents and children there. We also visited the school, the children's farm, and saw some of the work being done there to improve that piece of property. I think the, the capstone of my visit, though, was the visit to the medical mission. When you see that kind of humanitarian work goes on, I feel like that really is a force multiplier. To see it, in particular, being delivered by Americans who are volunteering their time and their resources and so forth is really a very, very gratifying. You can see it in their faces. You can see it in how they talk about the work that they do here. So it really does make me feel very proud to be a representative here as the United States Ambassador. There's probably no other person in the nonprofit, faith-based religious community here that delivers charitable work, medical work, and so forth. Anybody that really comes even close to the scope of the kind of work that he's doing here. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Oh, what is it about? Oh, it's a daytime show. Okay. And it empowers women to embrace the extraordinary and go against the grain of the common. Hmm. I really like some of that. Yeah, I knew you would like it because it's a really fun show. It sounds that way. It's a mixture of tears and laughter mm -hmm. and challenges and human interest stories. Well, you know what? I might just give it a shot. Well, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, Alida and I want to invite you to join us on Tuesdays at 10.30 for a new season of Life Uncommon on Plus TV. You do not want to miss what 2017 will bring. It's going to be awesome. It sure will. Looking for quick and easy baking? Try Grace Baking Powder. It comes in a convenient 10-gram packet. Grace Baking Powder. Great for my pancakes, waffles, fry jack, flour tortillas, muffins, waffles. Wow! How quick and easy. Grace Baking Powder. So convenient. Is it a store? You love it. It's good enough and fresh whenever you need it. Another fine product brought to you by Grace. For recipes, go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Oh, <laughs> 
cold, flu, sinus, or whatever ails you, Benjamin, the right relief. From the company who brought you Buendia Freeze Dry Coffee, Grace 100% pure Colombian coffee is made in Colombia. Considered among the finest coffee regions around the world. Naturally freeze dry, Grease 100% pure Colombian coffee is exposed to less heat than other coffee brands to preserve the flavor and aroma to make the perfectly convenient cup of coffee you deserve. Have a buenos dias with Grease. Recipes go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace, bringing good taste to life. My name is Carlos Moreno. I'm the United States Ambassador to uh, Belize. You know, I'm always interested in individuals who do good work. I was impressed by the breadth and scope of the kind of humanitarian assistance Paul has been providing to Belize for decades. Today I had the pleasure, uh, accompanied by Dr. Paul, to visit a couple of Mayan villages and met some of the residents and children there. We also visited the school, the children's farm, and saw some of the work being done there to improve that piece of property. I think the, the capstone of my visit, though, was the visit to the medical mission. When you see that kind of humanitarian work goes on, I feel like that really is a force multiplier. To see it, in particular, being delivered by Americans who are volunteering their time and their resources and so forth is really a very, very gratifying. You can see it in their faces, you can see it in how they talk about the work that they do here. So it really does make me feel very proud to be a representative here as the United States Ambassador. There's probably no other person in the nonprofit, faith-based religious community here that delivers charitable work, medical work and so forth. Anybody that really comes even close to the scope of the kind of work that he's doing here. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Oh, what is it about? Oh, it's a daytime show. Okay. And it empowers women to embrace the extraordinary and go against the grain of the common. Hmm. I really like the song of that. Yeah, I knew you would like it because it's a really fun show. It sounds that way. It's a mixture of tears and laughter mm -hmm. and challenges and human interest stories. Well, you know what? I might just give it a shot. Well, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Guys, Alida and I want to invite you to join us on Tuesdays at 10.30 for a new season of Life Uncommon on Plus TV. You do not want to miss what 2017 will bring. It's going to be awesome. It sure will. Looking for quick and easy baking? Welcome back to Life Uncommon. We are you guys that we will let you meet the delegate so we will go right over to um, these beautiful ladies and they will be introducing themselves yes 
Good morning, Belize. Good morning, everyone. I am Deandra Martinez, proudly representing Camalote Village. All right. All right. Camalote so in the You can house. pass the mic. Good morning, Belize. Good morning to everyone. Um, I am Jenna Lee Cruz, and I'm further representing Roaring Creek. All okay. right. Roaring Creek. Good morning, all viewers. My name is Audra Marie Bennett, and I am proudly representing the beautiful Site 7 area. All right. All right. Site 7. Good morning. My name is Kayla Stevens, and I am proudly representing the scenic Mountain View area. All Don't right. say it, Mountain View. <laughs> 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 My name is Charles Borland, and I hail from the Great Taking you to the Heights. All oh, right. Heights. It's so, so we good learned to about meet. places. Yes, we right. did. Yes. yes, because Belmapan is... is is a big area mm -hmm. and I didn't realize how many area that was yeah. broken up into. Yeah. So. All right, well, welcome girls, yes. ladies, ladies, delegates <laughs> to um, Life Uncommon. We're excited to have you all here and I know that you must be working so hard gearing up for this big pageant. So, but um, we wanted to ask a fun question this yeah, morning. Yeah, just to get started, mm -hmm. this is a fun question. So if you be isolated on an island, and given the chance to bring three things with you, what would it be? So you've got the mic first. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I bring food, uh -huh. Uh -huh. that's a necessity, clothes, obviously. Yeah. And lastly, I'd bring a friend. Okay, <laughs> I like that, I like that. Well, I would bring my mom, uh -huh. food, and hmm. um, my dad too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make, make it a family family affair. I That's right. That's mom. right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to be bringing people if I'm stranded uh, so okay. yeah I would prefer like objects that I would need to survive uh -huh. such oh, as okay. maybe a knife and mm -hmm. fire like a lighter uh -huh. or something uh -huh. and probably rope so that I can try to survive yeah because she wasn't worried about bringing food she <laughs> wanted that knife and the rope I wanted an island with resources <laughs> best <laughs> utilize it to the right? best yeah. potential my yeah. mind went straight to a um, cast is it cast what is uh -huh, it uh -huh. when the guy talked to the football yes oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, all right funny. well I would bring food because I'm not a person that eat anything, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go and hunt in. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I would bring my phone because I love my phone. Uh -huh. And hmm, clothes. Okay. <laughs> well, I would bring along a friend, food, of course, and most of all, water. Because uh -huh. as we all know, water is a necessity to survive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very you true. You don't wear a big thing, or No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how right. do you, you want to pick one? Oh, yeah, I'm going to pick another question. But before we go to question, I want to hear where um, the reigning queen, where she would have cared. That's right, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Let's see, a friend, of course, and a book, because I love to read. <laughs> a woman after my life. <laughs> All right, so ladies, you know how today, youths are growing up with uh, internet, videos, video game, I mean, texting cell phones. Do you guys think that they are more social, socially disconnected from other people than previous generations, like me and Alida generation? <laughs> 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 Thank you for including me in your generation. <laughs> I appreciate it. So that. the question is, if do you think that young people these days are more socially disconnected from um, previous generations from other people? I believe young people today, they are disconnected because technology has become a distraction mm. to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, so, in, so instead of good. them hanging with friends and family members, mm -hmm. they, they prefer to be sitting alone on your devices and doing your own mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. 
I, I agree too because I love my phone <laughs> <laughs> and I prefer my phone than sometimes like my friends. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Um, I believe that technology does have, it, have its pros and its cons. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, because with the technology and the internet, you could connect with your family members that That's are outside true. of the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get to know other people and different traditions. You get to learn different things from the internet. Yeah. But at the same time, if it becomes a dependency. So mm -hmm. if you have it too much, you become dependent on it, and it becomes a part of your lifestyle. Yeah. So I believe okay. that limit sets yeah. the boundaries. Yeah. 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 I also believe that it has become a distraction uh -huh. because children are exposed to it at a very young age, yes. but it has its advantages. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, I do believe that technology can distract you, but I also believe that getting knowledge from the source, mm -hmm. it's better than to go through technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. right. Well. Right. I, we love to talk about technology. Uh, yes, we, we do. <laughs> I agree about the pros and the cons. Yeah. It's important to have a balance, right? Yeah. So, listen, we just um, we just had a bunch of questions that we threw in here. Uh -huh. So, we don't even know what come up next. I but know. I do want to say that um, Freddie is saying congratulations to you all and i think freddy the root for miss kamaloteka he only say hi miss kamaloteka <laughs> <laughs> um, but he did say congratulations to you all oh, good. so a fun another fun question okay, yes i found yeah. another fun question so how would you describe your personality i would describe my personality as optimistic because i look at a glass half full instead of half empty all Good, right. thank, Good. You. thank you. I would describe my personality as energetic. Okay. All right. I would describe mine as outgoing because I like experiencing new things uh -huh. and meeting new people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would describe mine as energetic and talent. talented. <laughs> yeah. I would describe mine as very friendly and welcoming because as you know I love to get to learn I love to get to know other people okay all right so um, I, I want to take a pause um, and ask you ladies to talk with our viewers and tell them why they should come out and support you guys yes. and what to expect at the pageant coming up on the 12th of August okay I encourage you viewers to come out. As you can see, we're not only beautiful young women, but we're also smart. We have a lot to offer to our community. I believe that everyone should come out and see what all five of, five of us beautiful ladies have to offer to you all and show everyone our talent and what we have to offer. I could tell you guys that this is one that you do not want to miss. We have a beautiful night planned out for you guys. Very historical, the best you will ever see. It is a great opportunity to bring out the whole family because we are going to show you a very good time. All right. I encourage everyone to come out. It will be a night filled with entertainment, class, and grace. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, all right, I'm awesome. looking forward to that. And Miss, um, <coughs> Miss, his, her graciousness, her graciousness. Agree, <laughs> graciousness is agreeing that it's going to be a great night. Yes. So we do hope that you guys will come out and support these ladies. Mm -hmm. um, there is a Facebook page, right? Yes, that right. There is. Um, yeah. People can follow yeah. along. And I know yes. you guys have been ladies, yes. delicate. And I have been doing Ms. photo Chantal shoots. forgot enough. to mention that on our Facebook page, we open up a new, um, what do you call it? A new um, award that they can win, which oh is yes. the People's Choice. Yeah, oh, nice. so I encourage you guys to go on Facebook, like the pictures, comment who's your favorite, and all, and just have whichever girl you like to win the People's Choice. All right, nice. Okay, so um, it's Queen of the Bay, Belmo Pan, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Geraldine Flowers, my cousin, right? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Kamalote, you go girl, go Miss Kamalote. Mm -hmm. All right, 
So, we're so we know Kamala is there. watching. Where's everybody else? People. Yes. <laughs> and all the new people. And then, I don't say side seven, University Heights. Which mm -hmm. one I'm sure I get? Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, do we have time in. for one yeah. last question? Yes, let's go do another one. Okay. <laughs> so our final question: Who is the most influential person in your life? The most influential person in my life is my dad. He's a kind, humble, and compassionate person, and everyone looks up to him. And one day, I hope to be in his shoes. Oh. oh. The most influential person in my life is my mom because she encourages me to try new stuff mm -hmm. and I just love her. Okay. My most influential person would be my mother because she has her education in place. She has her life in place. Her Christian morals are so strong. Her level of empathy is amazing and she's mm -hmm. a very outgoing person. Mm -hmm. I really wish to be like her someday. Nice. Yeah. Well, the most influential person in my life is my mom. She has worked hard into molding me and shaping me into the individual I am today. And I love her very much. And, I, and she's watching me right now and I want to say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> the most influential person in my life, I would say, is my grandmother. She's a kind and compassionate person. She's a blessing to me and to those who know her. And those are the exact qualities I would like to carry with me for the rest of my life. All right. Thank you. So um, I know that um, people, you know, have friends and family and say, you know, better big me up, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to um, have you ladies, you know, send out a shout out or big ups mm -hmm. to anybody um, that you want at this time. Okay. I would like to give a shout out to my entire family in Kamalote Village and also in Belmopan and I am very thankful for the love and support. Yes, yeah, she's she no can no name, guys. Yeah, that's right. right. No <laughs> <laughs> that's right. She don't want to anybody else. Well, I just want to pick up and thank everybody in Roaring Creek. Um, they have supported me a lot. My mom, my brothers, my sisters, my dad, and everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank my family everyone including my best friend that's here with me and along the journey and i would like to shout out to new capital jewel for supporting me at ancal as well as my family again thank you i like to shout out the mountain view area my mom my dad my cousins and my aunts first of all i would like to give a big thank you to god for giving me this opportunity Secondly, I would like to thank my dad. He's been all the way with me, mm -hmm. you know, because my mom is not here, so he's my mentor. Mm -hmm. And I would like to also thank my sponsor, which is Best Choice Purified Water. Best water in a bell. <laughs> 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 all right, and thank of course, you. we have to give the reigning queen an oh. opportunity. Yes. Yes. Well. Yes. well, I would just like to thank everybody. A huge shout out to my mom, my dad, my brother and sisters. My co-workers at Invictus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just everybody and mm -hmm. all the love that I have, that people have shown me, like, it's just overwhelming. Yeah. And yeah. I have people come up to me like, you're the best. <laughs> 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 like, oh man, and it, it's just amazing. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate it. I love you all. Come this love, lots of love. <laughs> all right. Well, um, Cyrilla, give me a head up on the time. I know we're almost <laughs> out of time. Or, yep. So ladies, though, um, we have to wrap up, but I we had asked um, Ms. Geraldine what inspired her. And so yes. I wanted to find out from you ladies what inspired you to, you know, um, even join to want mm -hmm. to become a delegate because I know that's not an easy thing. And um, especially with social media, yeah. you get to read comments or you hear people saying stuff or criti critiquing your every move mm -hmm. so I think it's for the brave of heart yes I, I do. don't think <laughs> I'm that brave so I have to applaud you ladies yes. for stepping out and um, undertaking such an amazing and prestigious thing so what inspired you what inspired me to be a part of this prestigious pageant is our reigning queen Miss Geraldine Flowers because <laughs> I put Geraldine as a humble and kind and compassionate person and 
for her to be a part of this pageant, it really opened doors for me and I think it would be a good opportunity for other girls to step out of their comfort, mm -hmm. comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. Great. Great. Um, what inspired me to be a part of this year's pageant is um, I applaud I applaud Geraldine and because I know sh know her as a shy person too and winning this title you have a social obligation and I want to want everyone to hear my voice and I want to encourage other young women to try to and encourage young women to stand up and try new things. Okay, my reason for entering was because of my grandmother. Mm -hmm. um, she was always very, very patriotism, pa patriotic, sorry. And she passed away a couple months ago, mm. but it's something that she really wanted because okay. she even made promises to come from the States to come and see me. Yeah. And although I know that she won't be here, I know that she will be here in spirit. Yes. So yes. that's my biggest motivation. That's what gives me the strength to practice and move forward with this right. budget. Well, there's two persons who inspired me. One was Miss um, Burns. She told me about this pageant when Geraldine win, well <laughs> won. And um, I told her I, I couldn't do it because I shy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really shy and I'm not a pageant type of person. I'm more a singer uh -huh. type of person. But um, to enter this pageant, um, I feel really good. I feel like um, all other girls could do it too because I shy and I'm not like, you know. So I think that anybody could do it once they put their mind and heart into doing this. Uh -huh. And um, mm -hmm. I'll try to do my best. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I chose to enter this pageant because I wanted to gain the experience and get to learn more about myself and others also. Thank you. And Thank just to mention that this title is just not to have as a title but it's just to show how much you love your community which is uh -huh. Belmont Pan and uh -huh. how much you can give back and how much love you can portray out there and just let them know that this is what it is that's just a title to just brag about it's just to show love a lot of love and for your community mostly yeah well, I am so excited at the quality the level that that you all are at right now mm -hmm. I, you all did such a great job here with us this morning thank you for being with us um, Bellapon has some beautiful beautiful delegates this year for for Queen of the Bay mm -hmm. and i um, very excited about that I can't wait to be with you all on the pageant night yeah so come out and support these ladies. Remember, tickets will go on sale August 5th um, at Belmopan Day and then throw it up until the night. Of the yes, Monday. yes, yeah. So we need to... Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Grace Kennedy Belize. Um, thank you to iServants. Thank you, Charles Denmark and Cirillo, for all your hard work this morning. Thank you to all the guests that came. Thank you, ladies, thank for you. being with us this morning. And thank you all for watching, because we absolutely could not do this show without you. Yes. And remember to like us on Facebook, like our page, follow us. Um, and also, we have um, videos that you could go back and watch on our YouTube page and yes. on our Facebook page as well. We would love to hear from you guys. So, until... I mean, I said next week. No, until oh, September. September. <laughs> <laughs> we are we'll be on back break. in September. Yes. And we'll continue to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Hi, guys. Alida and I want to invite you to join us on Tuesdays at 10.30 for a new season of Life Uncommon on Plus TV. You do not want to miss what 2017 will bring. It's going to be awesome. It sure will. So, join us. We hope to see you guys um, on our Facebook page. Go check out our YouTube um, videos because we post all our shows there. Um, follow us on Instagram. We would love to connect with you all. And Alida, what else will we be doing this year? Maybe. We're hoping to travel around the country this year. So if you want us to come see you, send us 
a message, you can email us at hellolifeuncommon at gmail.com or you can message on Facebook or on Instagram. Yeah, and if you would like to sponsor one of the most fabulous shows, you could also email, email us at that same email at hellolifeuncommon at gmail.com. And for the signing up, no time for waste time enough. Don't you see it and get tired of Let me go, and you know this calling. I don't care if the way falling. I'm moving from night till morning. Just call me name. When the road is calling, tell them call me name. When the road is calling, tell them call me name. Sign my name. Sign my name. Write it with a golden pen. Sign my name. Sign it. See they come in the ones and the twos and the ball in the Sign the day No debate when you're late you get up out your ball in the Sign the day Send the young and blind and the old and the crippled in the Sign the day And if you want your name to be called out Run to Jesus, Jesus. He will help you Cast your burden day On the Father oh, the day. You could have been cancer You could have been murderer No matter your situation when the road is calling, tell them call me name. Hey, when the road is calling, tell them call me name. Boy, sign my name. Sign it. Sign my name. Sign it. Write it with a golden pen. Sign my name. Sign it. Hey. See them coming, the ones and the twos and them all in love. Sign it. No debate when you're late, you get blocked out your ball in love. Sign it. Let me young and young and be crippled. I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. Are you coming with me?